Crush is a very small word, darling. It's for school children. I'm graduate level. I have andha pyar. Like, so you actually got Jan to work ta- with him very recently. Yes, I did. I did a, a small part in Tu Jhuti Ma Makar. And that's going to be hands down my best experience. Did he didn't put you any filming. bonds if you were around him? No, I in, fact, no, I in fact made sure I told my director and the whole team that nobody will tell Ranbir that I'm crazy about him. For me, I'm someone at least I don't want nothing to be talked about hmm. me about me other than my movies. Yeah. I'm someone like that for some reason. It's just not with this rumor or any other rumor out there. For me, other than my movies, I don't want. I actually don't want to even do an interview. <laughs> so I'm telling you very frankly, this yeah. is what my really what my love is. Hmm. My love is to make great cinema. I think Judy Rentier is some of one whom I really look up to because uh, I was in 2000, I think it was seven or eight years. We all went to Australia for 20 days of shoot. Hmm. So he used to take care of all us, you know, pull our uh, he used to be a brat. I think it's my Pyar Ka Panchnama gang. From Ishita to Love Sir to Hitesh Sir, that gang. Okay. Rahul Modi, hmm. of course, we are still the same kind of gang, hmm. more or less, not everybody, but some of them. And I think they, I just, I think that was the purest connections we formed. And uh, they've lasted all these years, so. But is the third part happening? I don't have any idea. Okay. All there right. is misogyny right there because they will not tell us girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When I do remakes, um, no matter how many years apart they are, just don't watch the original one. Achha, you haven't watched Chhatrapati? Not this and not even Chori one. I never saw it. Chori is a Hindi, is a Marathi film yes, remake. Yes, yes. I so didn't watch that, it. That's a conscious decision. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel as an actor, if if you watch a film like that, done by such great talent, those visuals will always stick in your mind. Hmm. Then when you're performing those scenes, somewhere subconsciously you lend towards doing what they've done or to hit that emotional chord. Hmm. You'll not have your own new language to it. Well, on that note... Wrap if I over? Yes. Oh, this was damn easy, babe. <laughs> Are there more rapid fire? This is fun. See, okay, two, three questions you have over. Let's do two, three more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, one more. Ha, chal. Hello, everyone. Welcome to News 18 Shosha. And today we have with us this really fashionable squad and very talented too. We have Srinivas and Nushrat. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Superb. Ekdam badhiya. Aap kaise ho? Oh wow! I love your Hindi. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay, I know you guys are very tired, so we'll try to no, keep it as we're interesting back. as we we're back. Now we're that you've given us a nice hello and welcome, and he's spoken in Hindi, <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. back. We're back. <laughs> Great. So I watched the trailer of Chhatrapati. It's like this, you know, full blown, high octane drama, action. You know, everything that we all grew up watching, right? Uh, but you know, we'll have to talk about. So this is a, uh, a remake of. Uh, what else Rajan do you expect Lights. from film? Can I ask? Me? What else do you expect from a film? Of course, what else? <laughs> it's a, it boils down to you entertainment. Need, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. No, what I was asking is, so SS Raja Mauli had made Chhatrapati in 2005 starring correct, Prabhas, correct. there was Shriya Saran. Uh, such heavy names, you know, there was M.M. Cream, of course, we cannot forget. The full Oscar squad is there in correct, that film, well, was there in that film. Do you feel a sense of pressure? I mean, yes, initially it was. When I got this thought, I mean, when Gada sir has pitched me this idea, then we had taken our time. Mm to you know to take it mm-hmm. forward but once we started working on this film you know it was altogether a different experience and we were trying to br- we were very happy making this film and w- in this process yeah and of course it was challenging because it was a big task but i think uh, we had vivinaik sir also who is equally as talented as him and you know yes. minaik sir and uh, rajmouli sir has actually started their career at the same time mm. they are very very good friends so both started Junior and Tier. His first film was Junior and Tier. Vinayak's first film was Junior and Tier. Wow. Yeah. So both of them started in the same year. And both of the films released in the same year. And both became blockbusters. Lovely. What no, I, I have a funda when I do remakes. Um, no matter how many years apart they are. Just don't watch the original one. Achha, you haven't watched Chhatrapati. Not this and not even Chori one. I never saw it. Chori is a Hindi, is a Marathi film yes, remake. Yes, yes. I so didn't watch that, it. That's a conscious decision. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel as an actor, if if you watch a film like that, done by such great talent, those visuals will always stick in your mind. Hmm. Then when you're performing those scenes, somewhere subconsciously you lend towards doing what they've done or to hit that emotional chord. Hmm. You'll not have your own new language to it. 
सो आई फील लाइक देखो ही मत ना स्ट्रेस ही नहीं है आप अपना नया करो कुछ अलग करो बेटर ही होगा और क्या सो आई डोंट वॉच इट नो स्ट्रेस आई हैव नो आइडिया व्हाट द फिल्म्स आर एंड आई थिंक यू शुड टेक चैलेंजेस टू या यू शुड टेक चैलेंजेस आई थिंक यू विल टेंड टू गिव योर बेस्ट यू विल टेंड टू पुट इन योर बेस्ट एफर्ट सी आई हैड ऑलरेडी पैनियस लाइक प्रभास सो आई हैव टू मैच हिम so this was always constantly in my mind no matter whatever it is hmm. so whenever you know there was time where i couldn't push myself to the level i wanted to then i had this you know this one film you give your best you will straight go there <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it was you know it pushes you also as a yes, person yes absolutely no uh, have you shown the film to them yet yeah i am going to show them very soon but you know even before me starting this shoot also i met prabhas sir in mumbai only Okay. And you know, when we both met, also he was like, because he have seen my previous films in mm-hmm. Telugu, and he was like, he have taken a superb decision. I'm sure that film will work very well now. Now also, and uh, as he was telling me that Raj films, you know, Rowdy Rathor, all his films were big hits in yes, there. Yes, yes. So which were remade. Now this was a very good choice. This is actually he's one of his best script, and I'm sure that you can pull it off. And he gave me that confidence. I was like, bang on, yes, I got it from Prabhas. You know, let me. bring it on yes but uh, you know shrinivas i read somewhere i don't know how far this is true this was your interview when it it first came to you you took a little while before you said yes to it yes. is it true why why so i mean to be very frankly i've got uh, jaintlal gada sir opportunity 6 months back hmm. like before i zeroed in this project yes so i got this opportunity 6 months i was like what to do also i just can't randomly do a film you know because i wanted you know i got so much love from the audience here i have to thank them in the right way mm-hmm. how can i thank them i can't go to every door step and tell thank you thank you <laughs> no i have to give them a good film i have to yes. give them a great film so this was my in there but i didn't know what story which one which to <clears throat> you know which story to tell then gada sir has given me the head of chatrapati they were scared little bit i was like chatrapati I mean, I had euphoria when I watched this film in my childhood. Yeah. It was like you know, I remember this after watching this film when I was in seventh or eighth grade, I guess. After watching this film, I was telling Chhatrapati, Chhatrapati in home. <laughs> you know, I was doing, going. You know, uh, I'm this hyper kid basically. My mom used to control me a lot. <laughs> that is the difference. She's like Chhatrapati, I am Chhatrapati. Come, come, eat, eat. That's how we manifested it, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. maybe. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm not. I'm kidding you not. You know, I watched this. I remember still. You know, a match me. I watched it. Hmm. I was hyper till I slept. I don't know when I slept that day also. <laughs> But I know I was full hyper. I know I remember that. You know I remember those things. Yes. I could carry this film. You know after going to my home also. Hmm. So I felt that yes, it was some films only you can remember actually. So many films once you watch it you'll forget it. Hmm. Once you come out of your parking lot, once you sit in your car, done. But Chhatrapati was a film like you felt that you were energized. right like i was like i have to stand for my people when they need me you know from then this helping nature came in me <laughs> all of this some film will inspire you on some Absolutely. on the other way Completely. little bit here there mm. you know when i watched you know there's lot of films you know hindi also when i watched one love story like this yaar ek yeah, love story yeah, you know yeah, yeah. If you Something had in your personal your yeah like it hits your life you know ek love se mere ko bhi aise mila to bas you know life is uh, happy you will feel fully yeah so, yeah Uh, so Nushrat, uh, uh, like I was just listening to you speak. So there was Chori, of course. There was Janhit Me Jari. Now these are all films that required you to do a lot of heavy lifting, right? Was it a conscious decision to do this one because you probably wanted to have a little more fun? Um, actually, I made a conscious decision to do all kinds of films. Hmm. Uh, whether it's a film where I'm doing all the heavy lifting. whether it's a um, drama whether it's a comedy whether it's a full mass entertainer whether it's i mean but trust me one thing i feel like in any film you can't take it for granted or for no, of course it's like yeah, yeah. every you film can't. is tough yeah yeah the films yeah. are really tough they are yeah. they are not easy to do <laughs> and sometimes the you know when you have the aid of the right kind of dialogue and the right kind of this thing it becomes easier when you have be yourself chill have fun that's tougher because there at some points you don't know what to do really like mm. what do you do because there is a world given to you there's a there's a character and and dialogues given to you when you have to just be yourself it gets a little tricky because mm. you don't know which way you will go um but that's not really why you choose to do a film i have 
I enjoy both spectrums. I'm I am your typical commercial heroine, and I love it. Yeah. I love what we've done with the songs. I love flailing my dupatta and my arms and my hair flying and hero coming like this. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but Nushal, you look stunning in Bareilly. <laughs> thank you, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I really, really love that song, and I'm very glad people like it. She was uh, very skeptical about that song. Why? <laughs> very much. You know, she wanted. He's dropping some truth bombs there. No, the truth Why? bomb is that I heard the song, and uh, initially it was not for me. It was for another. Um, Character or I, another. I've another actually actor. recorded three songs. Okay. I made her hear three songs, but she only liked this song, and she was not, you know, giving me. I, and I tried for them my fourth song. I know that there were four four songs were in the movie. That fourth song, you know, I made some three or four verses, so just to satisfy that this is better than Bareilly. <laughs> but I couldn't match it, so you I had to end up only. shooting Bareilly with her. <laughs> I said this, 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 this song. I don't know why. There's just something that I get attached to in a song, and I really want to be a part of that song. And then they actually shot the song as a promotional video. As a video promotional video. song, it'll come to the end credits of the mm. movie. Ah, <laughs> so I loved it. Yeah, loved yes. it. <laughs> but you know, since we are talking about this, tell me something yeah. honestly. Do you think there is a very wrong perception about uh, female actors playing these so-called glam roles, where you know people perhaps say that oh, this doesn't require too much effort? I'm sure there is. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of actually forget even audiences. Hmm. To be very honest. When I did Priyanka Bansha one and two and Sonu ki Rudi Sweetie, I had filmmakers who would say that acting thodi kar paigi. Hmm. She's okay in the songs and the glamour. She can't be this. But I've I've always been given this one advice, and I genuinely from day one I've stepped into the industry. I followed it. Um, you don't need everybody to be convinced hmm. about you and your art or what you can or cannot do. You need just one person to be convinced. Um, so it took one director, which was my Ajib Dastan's director, Raj Mehta. Yes. Who went against everybody and said, "No, she's an actor. You cannot tell me she doesn't know what she has to do. Hmm. So if she has to play a maid, she can play a maid. I don't think she's going to come dressed as Sonu Kiri to be sweety for for a maid. No, but Sonu Kiri to be sweety. That performance is not so easy. I agree yeah, with you because I agree. you know there's a very thin line. You know. She's Between, a hero of the movie, yeah, she might just become a villain, like, but she's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, this this is very thin balance. Very yeah. tough role. Very few people actually understand that. Yeah, oh yeah. Very. Listen, I am one who have who have actually fought for this character yeah. because I'm like this is not misogynistic. It's not. It's not. It's not. She's actually the first 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 film. Yeah. In the line of Yaka Panchnamas, where the girl is giving it back. Mm. So how can it be misogynist? I don't get it. Yeah. So But that's yeah, a so different took, conversation. It took yeah. Raj Mehta to tell people she can act, and after Ajib Dastan came out, I had a whole bunch of people call me and saying, "What you've <laughs> done?" So what I've done? <laughs> Mala, I don't know. What are you talking? So it's that perception that gets attached to a girl because mm. first of all, getting ready, doing hair, makeup, clothes, in heels and outfits, is not easy. Mm. So as much as it looks easy to the eye, is because we make it look easy. we make it look like it's a second nature when it's not it's very yeah. difficult to do all of that on a daily basis and on top of that to get typecasted ke sirf yahi kar sakti hai is horrendously unfair yes it is it is but well well it is what it is yes <laughs> but uh, shrinivas tell me something <coughs> i find it very tough to believe that you haven't received film hindi film offers before chatrapati did you receive all these years no oh, yeah, i mean of course I mean, I didn't concentrate. I would put it in that way okay. because I was my first film was in Telugu when I was 21 years at release, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be one of the best debut film fair I've gotten. And at the same time, that film has been highest collection when it comes to a debutant. Mm, wow! It was one of a very big commercial success, and after that, there was no looking back for me. Yeah. And after that, I had a lot of projects lined up, and uh, yeah, that is how I started and. I saw I tried to make different kinds of films there and my telugu films which were dubbed in hindi I've got so much love especially the last 3 years something mm -hmm. would have happened to me in covid I guess you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know maybe people were uh, trying to watch out whatever cinema is out there maybe they have connected to me somewhere it is not without the connection they won't not you know mm -hmm. not just one film of mine there were like some multiple films of mine who have which have reached that mark yeah and uh, 2.4 or 2.5 billion views yeah it's not a joke It is. No, I mean a song reaching is yes, I understand. But it's a two and a half hours film. They're putting so much time and effort to watch a film, and without their love, I would not been sitting here and talking to you. 
Yeah. And it's purely because of their love I'm here. And I always, you know, uh, you know, but anybody's dream is to, you know, as an actor, you want to be recognized in every corner of India. Right. You know, wherever I go, you know, you want it to be recognized. You know, an actor craves for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think uh, that's about it. And, you know, I felt the right offer. That I was waiting. Maybe I was, God was trying to give me the right opportunity. And the, he has blessed me. That's it. Yeah, the wait was worth it. Yes. Yes. You know, earlier, just a while back, you were talking about love stories. So, mm. let me talk a little bit about love stories now. Yeah, please. Uh, Nushrat, we have heard multiple times that you are uh, you have a crush on Ranbir Kapoor. Cr- crush is a very small <laughs> word, darling. It's for school children. I'm graduate level. <laughs> I have Andha Pyar. Like, so, you actually got Jan to work ta- with him very recently. Yes, I did. I did a, a small part in Tu Juti Ma Makar. And that's going to be hands down my best experience. Did he didn't put you any bonds if you were around him? <laughs> no, I in, fact, no, I in fact made sure I told my director and the whole team that nobody will tell Ranbir that I'm crazy about him. Because if he finds out, then I can't do this scene with him. It's intimidating now <laughs> okay. when the other person knows you're crazy about him. So Manika, the minute Ranbir turns, just people stand to catch because I will fall. Like, <laughs> till he's looking at <laughs> me, I'll stand. Fill me. The minute he turns, I'll fail. Fill me. I'm very, dude. Yeah. So, no did he finally come to know that you. I, do, I hope not. Because I put up a great front saying, Hi, I'm Nushrat. I should see you. Great. Let's do the scene. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. The minute he would turn, I'd be like, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So, yeah, I, I love him. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Srinivas, there have been some rumors about you. You and Rashmika. Really? Uh, when uh, these things start floating around in the media, perhaps taking a precedence over your work life, does mm. that really bother you sometimes? Yeah, I think for me, for me, I'm someone at least I don't want nothing to be talked about hmm. me, about me other than my movies. Yeah. I'm someone like that for some reason. It's just not with this rumor or any other rumor out there. For me, other than my movies, I don't want, I actually don't want to even do an interview. <laughs> so I'm telling you very frankly, this yeah. is what my really what my love is. Hmm. My love is to make great cinema. Yeah. My love is to give you guys a great poster. My love is to give you guys a great trailer, great experience. Like you have to watch this film in theater. That is what I want to create. Mm-hmm. So I don't want anything else to be deviated. Yeah. And I don't want uh, uh, anything comes which is easier. Right. I want to be organic. Whether I'm achieving thousand people or ten thousand people or one lakh people is a different story. Mm-hmm. But, you know, get to their heart as organic as possible. That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, before we let you go, we'll do a very quick rapid fire. And these ah, are fun I questions. I fail at rapid fires, guys. No, I literally am on fire. So, you take your turns and answer. So, what was your first paycheck? My first paycheck? I was working in a bowling company called Brunswick. Okay. And I had got 6,000 rupees a month for wow. being a sales girl for the bowling alley. Like, run tournaments. Oh wow. wow! I don't know why. I don't know why they hired me also, but they. Did. <coughs> That's quite a revelation. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. In movies or in different. In in general, your first ever paycheck, the first time you earn money. I don't know one reason because I'm someone who is always running back of money too. <laughs> <laughs> so in my childhood, yes, when I was in LA, hmm. I used to wear this Batman dress. Okay. On streets of LA in Kodak wow. Theater, yeah, I used to literally begging to bolte. But it was something like that. Like performance and Not then performance, would... just wear this. I used to stand before the Kodak Chinese theatre. So all these Indians used to come, especially correct, Indians correct. and normal people. I used to full clean shave, <laughs> wear the Batman outfit, stand there, give poses to children. Oh, do oh. So they used to give dollar, five dollars like oh, that. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and I did a lot when special Indians come. I know that they'll give a lot more money. <laughs> so I used to talk to them in Hindi, try, try to blabber the skits. Batman, come here, pose. They used to feel so fashion. Are you entertaining the kids oh, so wow. well? It's actually actual process of acting, you know. Yeah, I yeah, learned. Yeah, it's yeah. actually I was an acting course in LA then. Yeah. So they should tell them, no, we can do kuch kuch activity. Karo. Mm-hmm. True. So if you do be idle, no, you will not learn life. Hmm. So I wanted to experience that with real people, with you know, experiencing it with small kids. I think I, I'm someone till date also. When when my cousins, you know, younger generation all though, I'll become I'll become their age. I oh, play with them, yeah, I'll be like yeah. that. I like, I like, I always like to go back to my childhood for some reason. Yes. I try my best, but you know, there's a lot of pressures and your <laughs> brain is not the same like how it used to be before. Right. Because before work, before 18 years, I think your mind used to be in a particular way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you don't have any pressures, you don't have to think so much about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, no matter whatever it is, you have it and you can't, yes, you, you have can't to deal with it. it. Yeah. 
So oh. I think that was my first, and I used to be a watch collector, and uh, I used to sell watches, buy them for a particular price, and I used to sell it in black market. Oh, nice! And for only all my pocket money, yeah, pocket Jugadu. money just to Jugadu, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to do all of that. <laughs> okay, your first friend in the film industry. I have a lot of them. I because from childhood I have been. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course you. Will. And I think. Uh, I think Judy Rentier is some of one whom I really look up to because uh, I was in 2000, I think I was seven or eight years. We all went to Australia for 20 days of shoot. Hmm. So he used to take care of all us, you know, pull our, uh, he used to be a brat. So <laughs> it was, you know, a lot of them. I think for me, I had a lot okay. of friends. Okay. I, I think it's my Pyaka Panchama gang. From Ishita to Love Sir to Hitesh Sir, that gang. Okay. Rahul Modi, hmm. of course, we are still the same kind of gang, hmm. more or less, not everybody, but some of them. And I think they, I just, I think that was the purest connections we formed. And uh, they've lasted all these years, so. But is the third part happening? I don't have any idea. Okay. All there right. is misogyny right there because they will not tell us girls. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Lastly, Clearly. okay. So every time you hear a happy news, hmm. uh, who's the first person you text or call? Wow. She really has some questions, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I'd call Rohini Bhandari, who's... Um, yeah, love films. Yes. So yeah, you see, everybody's from there. <laughs> and uh, maybe Ishita, the two of them. Anything happy or big in my life, these two girls are on like straight <laughs> video calls. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think it's my parents. I think some, if I'm really happy, I think I will first tell to my parents. And I have uh, two groups, my mm. school friends and my neighbor friends who have been from my childhood. They have been my thick friends from childhood. Yeah. Those two groups I will definitely share. Like, fat fat, I will share a message, you know, whatever update is there in my life about to those two groups and my parents, of course. And my okay. Lovely, lovely. Well, on that note... Rapify over? Yes. Oh, this was damn easy, babe. <laughs> Are there more so Rapify? This is fun. See? Okay, two, three questions you have over. Let's do two, three more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, one more. Ha, chal. Okay, what was... Your first celebrity encounter ever in life. Yours oh. must be when you were one year old. <laughs> I don't only. remember yet. <laughs> no, I don't mind. I don't mind. Madhuri Dixit. I was on Juhu Beach. I was, I think, seven or eight years old, and she was shooting some film in one of those okay. hotels. And the whole crowd was against the gate, looking at her. And my father put me on his shoulders and propped oh. me up. And I was holding onto these bars and looking at her. And she was wearing a black top and black jeans. There's a song she's done. Even the hero was in full black. I forgot. It was shot there only. And I don't know why it's at such that a point, vivid memory. because she turned and she waved oh. and I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> I don't know how, but it was Madhuri oh, ma'am. It was Madhuri wow. ma Maybe okay. she felt you that she is going to be the I next. I don't know. <laughs> but I remember Maybe. that very clearly. Yeah. For me. Do you remember? I mean, that? the thing for me is, <laughs> I never felt like, you know, celebrity crush or anything. Yeah. Because I've just seen them from childhood. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like so many people. I still don't get that, oh my god, that vibe, I don't never get it. I don't know why I try to get it. <laughs> and, and, yeah. But I don't know, I just don't get it. But it's all normal, Maybe right? I mean, you I've grew seen up. I've everybody, yeah, right? exactly. I'm going, my dad is like, even when I'm four years old, he's holding me and taking me, lifting me, I'm, set, I'm on set, I'm meeting Kana on set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's like, for me, it's like my holiday set. My holiday is Ramuji, yeah, literally. My every yeah. holiday is Ramuji. They have an actor shooting, I'll be walking around, there'll be one more actor shooting. <laughs> Ramoj is such a great amusement park in our child. Yeah. It was like a theme park, basically. So whatever, whichever actor you want to see, right? Just take your car, <laughs> go to that shoot directly. Nobody see everybody. You didn't see everybody. That's I think you nice. didn't see Ramoji films, you know, yet? You didn't see Ramoji. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's, <laughs> he's so upset. He's like, how? <laughs> no, yeah, because Ramoji is like our uh, home, no, more than home. Because the majority of his schedules also, we were shooting there. Understood. Okay, on that note, thank, thank you guys. You. All the thank very, you. very best for Chhatrapati. Thank you. Hi, this is Srinivas Bellam Konda, alias your Chhatrapati, and you're watching News 18, Shorsha. Hi, I'm Nushrat Bharucha, and you're watching me on News 18's Shorsha. <laughs>